everyone and travel at a guy here another time and today is Thursday May 28th and I'm just checking out some of the latest fashions for the summer and this store here apparently the new fashion is with the mask it looks like a gas mask almost so I guess it's gonna be the new fashion thing I don't know they're gonna I've seen actually some swimwear with uh, like a mask they're selling some high-end uh, Gucci or something like that online for the for the ladies so maybe that's for the men I don't know that's the the new mask but today I'm going to do something special that I haven't done for a few months now. That is, take a bus. And we're going to see how that works out. And there shouldn't be too many people because only people have to take the bus for necessary appointments or jobs, something like that, to work. So that's where I'm headed now. So come with me. The train station and the mall here. And I see some people behind me eating, having lunch. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad to see that. Malaga Maria Zambrano it's called and that's the train station here. You can catch all the high speed trains going all over Spain, which is really, really nice. You can be in Barcelona from here in like a little over six hours. It's amazing. It's amazing how fast these things are. This place is open now across the street. Granier. You can have some coffee there. They have some bocadillos. Uh-oh. The bus station looks like it's closed. Oh, that's a problem. That's going to be a problem. I'm going to get to my destination if it's closed. I have to talk to somebody now. Sometimes it helps to speak Spanish in this case. I asked these men at the table there and I don't think they're from Malaga because they weren't sure. They said go in there and I usually go in there and there was like a blue gate and it's closed. So I went into this Granier, that little um, pastry shop there and she said, no, you have to go in the principal entrance. So the main entrance, like you call it principal in Spanish. So you can see all these gates here are, are closed. Normally there's one gate that's open. And you can go in there. I think probably all of these are open. I normally go in that one there. So uh, good thing I asked him because I thought it was closed at first. So there's not going to be much traffic here on the bus today, I guess. That'll be quite interesting. Maybe I'll be the only passenger, have the bus all to myself. I wouldn't expect too many people going. Wouldn't expect too many. This guy's open here. Wow, I'm getting excited. I haven't traveled. This is like travel, actually travel. Wow, I'm actually gonna be traveling today. It's about 25 minute ride where I'm going. I'm going to Alwarin de la Torre. And it's, uh, I've made actually some videos about this place. It's a really beautiful place. A little Spanish town. And it's just outside of Malaga and it's going up. So it's like up in the hills. It has a beautiful, scenery behind it so that's where i'm headed today so let's see if i can go in the entrance here some taxis here there's a woman here uh -huh. i don't know how many buses are today i hope this could be a problem hope this is not a problem entrance here okay we got in here open open says to me all right it doesn't look like too many people here and I don't see too many buses on the board so I could have a problem here. Oh, I don't even see a sign here. Normally there's all kind of buses leaving here. You can see the signs above and they're all with their destinations. And there's a platform that I normally go to. I think it's like 23 or 25 up here and there'll be people lined up. And the bus is going maybe every hour to our in. So our in de la grande y de la torre. So could have a problem here trying to get to my dentist appointment. Well, again, another surreal experience here. Uh, let me see if I can pull the mask down so you can hear me. Another surreal experience here. Uh, okay, my bus is leaving at 3.30. I found that out. So there's gonna be one at 3.30, so that's good. Now all these um, ticket offices here, they're all closed. It's amazing here. All these box offices, ticket offices here to get your tickets are all closed. Now I asked the man, what's the furthest I could go if I want to? Right now, what's the furthest I can take a bus? And he said to Valencia, no further, only to Valencia. So that makes sense. Right now that's where, but I think Valencia is in the, no, I guess they're still in the phase one with us. So I could take a bus all the way to Valencia. I couldn't go any further from there. I don't know. Maybe I could take a bus from Valencia to somewhere else. But as of now, that's what we have. Now this is normally teeming with activity here. This is normally full of people waiting in line to get their tickets. And here's the Alsa, the Alsa buses, and there's just nobody here. Nobody. It's almost, I feel like I'm in some kind of B horror movie where everything's just closed. I mean, it's just really surreal, like I said. So I was expecting this, but 
when you're here, it still feels very, very strange. It feels like almost after hours, and it's the middle of the day. So 3.30, I'm gonna take the bus, and we'll show you what that's like. So, I'll be interested to see how many passengers are on the bus. I doubt there's gonna be many. Kind of surprised, that's my bus behind me, and there's actually people lined up, so I'm not the only one going. Two people going. So I'm at the bus stop. I just got off the bus and I'm in Awarin de la Torre. Oh my god, this place, I just love this city. It's just fabulous. I'm so happy to be back here. Now when I talk about Malaga, Malaga is a, it's a municipality. It's a city also. So you have like a municipality of Malaga and you have, so this is actually part of Malaga. It's Awarin de la Torre. When you say all these cities, Torre Molinos, uh, ben Madena, they're all parts of Malaga and then there's Malaga City so it's actually says Malaga Malaga when you write if you write a letter here so we are in Awarin de la Torre which is part of Malaga but it's not the main part so I just love this city it is just so beautiful I want to walk up here and show you the beautiful mountains it's just so tranquil this city to me it's just it's just so beautiful if you come to Malaga I think you should take a stop off here it's not far in a bus it's maybe 25 minutes so it's a nice place to go and there's actually you can go up further there's something called Awarin de la Grande and I haven't been there yet I think it's a little bit bigger city than Awarin de la Torre and that means Torre means tower in Spanish so it's a part of the tower I think it said part above the Awarin wow oh, to say that is really really hard but I think it's a Moorish word 
I don't think it's a Spanish word. I took it from there. Let's walk up here a little bit and you can see this. I want to show you this gorgeous view. It's just fantastic. And then I have to run to my dentist appointment. Okay, so behind me you can see these beautiful mountains here and I love that about our in de la Torre. And there's actually like some houses that go up even quite a, a ways up into that basin of that uh, valley here. And the basin of those mountains there. So really, really beautiful. I love that. So I'm gonna walk over here. We'll take you through the main part of the town, going toward my dentist's office. Gotta get those checked. Oil change. Check the fluids and all that. And hopefully I'm gonna be getting these off. I'm supposed to be getting these off in a few months, so cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that. The unveiling. Hopefully, and a whitening too. So I will look YouTube fresh, hopefully. Yeah, I see my cosmetic company behind me, Kerry Cosmetics. Very cool. It's not how you spell my name, but close enough. So, walking through the street here. And if you'd like to see more of this city, like I said, I have another video. I made some more videos about this city before, and I have one uh, like a walking tour, and I show you some more parts of it. So if you're interested in it, you can check my channel for that. You might want to see more of that and I also have other videos of some great places Sevilla, Granada, uh, we were into Madrid, Ronda, so and more to come, more to come and I have some videos of other parts of Europe as well if you're interested in that Germany, France, Poland, there's some more. Hey there's a buddy there, a friend, <laughs> very cool. Spanish people are very funny, I like that. So we're going to walk down here to the main plaza which they have this beautiful fountain that I wanted to show you and that's what I like to show you. So I'm on my way down there and my orthodontist is right across the street so very convenient for me as well. Ah, here we go, a place open here. Looks like it has a nice terrassa, a nice garden, patio. Very, very nice out back. Some of these places, they really open up inside. They look small from the outside, but when you get in them, they're actually quite big, quite large. And they have a couple of fountains here, which I like. They have this one fountain, looks like a star shape. Really, really nice. Yeah, I like that fountain, love that. Oh, this is a shame, this is for sale. fruit store that is for rent fruit shop and that was open I used to come by here and that was always open there was a woman in there selling fruit and honey and things like that I like to buy my natural honey sometimes I think I bought a jar of honey from her one time natural honey because they have a lot of that very very good natural honey here in Spain I love it you can get different honeys from different regions and you get different flavors to the honey naturally just by what the bees fed on it's not processed it's not pasteurized so that's what I like I really love that. I love those natural products. There's that beautiful fountain behind me. Just love that fountain. It's so gorgeous. This is the main plaza here in town in Awarin. So that was my first ride on a bus in over two months. Very exciting. Glad I could take you along with me. So I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you in the next update. Going to be doing Malaga next time. Showing you how Malaga is right now. And Malaga is really, really improving. Everything is trying to move. So see you then. Take care. Well, check out this place behind me. This is like uh, Instagram gold. I'm going to take a photo of this maybe for my Instagram. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Rain, rain, stay away. Come back some other day. Go away virus.